What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts here once again with some more dark reactions, man. And I'm diving deep into this mystery. And I've stated over and over again, man, it is not easy to break down this show. This show goes so deep and there's so much meaning behind a lot of the things they talk about just when you think you figure it out. You really have not figured anything out. They just, as I've said, it's like you having a jigsaw puzzle figured out, fixed together, and then your little brother just come and just mess up everything. That's how I feel when I watch Dark. <laughs> Cause, um, but you do have to pay attention. You know, you do have to pay attention. And that's what's so intriguing about the show. You know, um, it's it's what's wrong about the show and it's also what's right about the show and that's why it's so well written man and i'm looking forward to seeing what are they going to reveal next because um the dynamics that are happening man it's just it's profound you know it's profound in such a way where you can you know think that you have a beat on what's going on and then no you don't <laughs> you know so um now we meeting this person here uh martha the uh, old the older martha like how we met adam back in i think it was the second season man and it's, it's gonna be crazy because somehow Jonas is the one he's the one he's the neo you know what I'm saying? Of this universe. But he doesn't know what the hell to do. So we just got to watch everything just transpire and just happen. You know, and just kind of figure it out for itself. This other world where he doesn't exist versus the one where he existed in. And it seems like even if you don't exist, somebody else is going to take your place. So it's kind of like what's happening is inevitable to happen. So what to do you know <laughs> but in any case guys let's jump into these episodes episodes three and four of season three and as i said before i told you guys in the last review if you guys watched it uh, you're probably not going to see it in this intro either because you guys just jump to the google drive and don't watch my stuff but if you are watching my stuff i appreciate y'all man just remember to leave those videos in the comment section for me to watch once I finish season three, go back and see some of these videos of people trying to figure out what's going on in dark. So show me some of the best videos you see on YouTube that you've watched and I will react to them. Reach out to the creators, ask them if I could react to their stuff, whatever the situation is, we'll do it. Okay. So just let me know. See you guys for the review. All right, so that was episodes three and four of Dark <laughs> Season Three. My God, um, you know, sometimes I watch this show and I wonder if I'm actually getting anything. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm understanding anything, and you know, I mean. The way how they reveal things is very unique because it goes with the flow. You know what I'm saying? Like it goes with the floor. It's never like some of them, you know, come as a shock. But most of the reveals in this story are very subtle. You know what I'm saying? They're very subtle. They're like it was there in front of you all along. Now we're just letting you see it. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like you know everything is going to be like oh my god you know what i'm saying it's just it makes you wonder and think about everything that you've watched before according to this reveal so it is revealed now that their future self sent both of them back so that they could create have a son which is going to be the bridge so i'm wondering if the dude with the cut over his mouth wandering around i'm wondering if he's the bridge but 
it kind of doesn't make it, it makes sense because he's with he's like in some ways with Ava which is the oldest Martha in the show that sent you know that was trying to explain things to jo to Jonas I don't know I don't know all I'm saying is there's a lot to it there's a lot more to it that I'm actually thinking about I'm sure so it's like me trying to sit down here and try to figure out what they were that what they're trying to do it's kind of useless it's kind of useless you know what i'm saying but as i said i think there has to be something and it kind of um what i was saying about the intros to after the intro in the videos it seems like there's always a sex scene and it's like this is somewhere it has a significance to the story just don't know what it is yet i still don't know what it is now but maybe they were hinting towards because um, the whole thing, I remember that they were always like having that dream of them having sex with each other or whatever, um, between the both of them or whether it was them or whether it was not, there was always a sex scene to begin episodes. I think it started from last season. Um, and I talked about it, but I didn't go in depth about it because I was like, ah, it is what it is that's what they chose to do but i think it has some now that i'm thinking about it deeper i think it has something to do with something that we're going to learn later about the show i don't know what it is but it seems like every episode begins with a sex scene after credit after the opening um with the song and everything so um what else did i want to talk about i wanted to talk about the whole situation that's going on because there's a lot of lot of storylines that are going on that you have to follow anna went back in the past got pregnant who is that person going to be that she has you know what i'm saying is she going back to her original timeline um you know what i'm saying but can she go back to her original timeline that's another thing too because the apocalypse did happen while she was in the past you know what i'm saying so is she going to go back to a world and it's going to be normal because that would be weird maybe she'll have an abortion we don't know it's 2019 we don't know what she's going to do or how that's going to play out um so it explains why we never saw egan with a wife or anything in when he was older before we saw him die um with claudia accidentally pushing him down and he died he had you know what i'm saying he was suffering he, he had cancer right so we don't know we don't know you know it kind of explains why we never saw him with a wife or you know mention of a wife because he got divorced like 33 years before you know what i'm saying so but she was obsessed with a woman that's now with freaking adam and them out there there's like there's magnus there's agnes there's all these people i don't know what they're trying to do i don't know if they're trying to stop this infinite loop we don't know what these people are trying to do what are they trying to do what is the objective of this all what is the end game of everything that we're watching here are they trying to stop the apocalypse or are they just trying to stop this infinite loop of this thing happening you get what i'm saying of everything that is happening from day one is that what they're trying to stop is you get what i'm trying to say this infinite loop that is happening with all of these people where it's like okay the apocalypse happened start over again we're going back in time to you know i think all these different methods that they've tried to do things and none of them has actually worked apocalypse still happen world decimated but people survive you know so none nothing no technology no nothing sandy beaches <laughs> you know it's it's weird because we don't know what the objective but at the same time it is so intriguing to watch and that's that's the thing about it is like how can you keep 
your audience in the dark, pun intended, right? How can you keep them in the dark for so long, for so many episodes, and we keep coming back every season? Because every season we think we're going to know something. You just pull the rug from under our legs and let us fall on our asses again. That's just what's happening in this show every time. So it's like, how? And I think that's the brilliance of the writing in this show also. So shout out to the writers. Shout out to everyone, man. So they're doing an exceptional job of creating a show to keep people's interest and nothing is being revealed. At least in, you know what I'm saying? In Game of Thrones, there was a lot of stuff, but there were so many lore that... You know what I'm saying? That you could go and and maybe look up to find out, you know, why certain things happen, why certain events happen. I mean, Game of Thrones started, you know what I'm saying, with, you know, King Robert and all of them and stuff like that. And to learn the history between the Starks and the Targaryens and, you know what I'm saying, and uh, the, um, I don't even remember their names right now. <laughs> it's been so long since I've studied that stuff, so... You know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, you know, the, it, there was a lot of lore behind Game of Thrones that, you know, you could get an understanding of why certain characters do certain things that they do. Uh, how did Robert become king and all of this other stuff, you know, how they got rid of the Targaryens and stuff like that and what they did. There was a lot of lore behind it. So you, you had reference points for this. There's no reference. There's nothing that you can go to there was no books that was written about dark dark is an entirely new production show idea that writers are just writing their asses off and they're doing an incredible job you know what i'm saying so for for that matter people just have to come up with their own theories and conclusions about things that might happen or could happen or what it means or these um clues that they may have been leaving and we're not catching them because they're probably on screen for two three seconds but you're paying attention to the characters and what they're saying and you're not even paying attention to the background little stuff that they're showing i know that that stuff is in is in there i know that there's little things that they're hinting at that it's not on the screen very long and you're just not paying attention to that stuff um you know so as i said before man please 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 in the comment section leave the, the those videos because once i'm done with season three i want to dive into some of those videos and to to help me get a better understanding of this of the series you know and because i'm pretty sure that there's stuff that i that i miss i'm pretty sure you know nobody can look at me and be like oh when i watched it the first time i completely understood dark stop lying stop stop lying okay stop lying you know and i know some people want to put themselves in that category to be honest like a lot of shows that i've watched and they're like oh i got that on the first watch no you didn't okay stop coming on the chat stop lying to people and to yourself please thank you guys so much man i love y'all keep it up keep watching the videos of course leave a like on the video leave a comment let me know how you felt when you first watched these couple of episodes season four ep season three episodes three and four appreciate y'all see you guys later man peace